Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, sorry about the shaved in tour video that I promised last week not coming through. Um, or the last shave I did not coming through, but this week was just a killer. I'm doing physical therapy for my back because I'm missing a vertebrae. And, or not a vertebrae, I'm missing a disc in my lower back. Two of my vertebrae are crooked. Um, and it just, they got me doing some exercises that well. Um, if you have a small child in the room, boys and girls, cover your ears because, well, I'll wait, one, two, three. They got a couple exercises that are a bitch. Anyways, um, the one I really hate uh, it's called the plank. It's where you rest, you roll over on your stomach and place your elbows or support your weight with your elbows and then you go ahead and you raise your body up to where your body's straight and the only thing that's keeping you up off the mat is your elbows and your toes and they count that for like 15 seconds and they make you do three of them damn things. At least that's what I'm up to. And uh, they're, they're rough, they're rough. So for a couple of days after I had that, it was just, I, my, my lower back was just a wreck. But anyways, enough of my whining and crying about physical therapy, which I know in the long run is gonna help me out. Anyways, um, this shave, it's Sunday night, that way so I can get it posted tomorrow morning because this is going to be my Memorial Day shave. Um, I know that there's no way I can ever personally thank any of the men and women that this day is for because this day, Memorial Day, is for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And today I'm using kind of a special razor um, which is kind of halfway there as far as um, fitting with the whole Memorial Day thing. Anyways, so let's take a look at what we're going to use. Today's soap is going to be hmm, one of my favorite soaps. It is K Shave Works Hump Day. Mm, if you're not familiar with this, if I remember correctly, the notes are orange, grapefruit, pineapple, vanilla, something called cassock. Um, it's just, I just absolutely love the scent. It's one of my favorites. I got a sample of theirs a while back of the hump day, tried it, and just absolutely fell in love with the soap. It's an absolutely wonderful soap. Today's brush is going to be my Razor Rock 24 millimeter Barber Handle Plus Soft Synthetic. Um, I just want kind of a mellow and easy shade. Didn't feel like going ahead and soaking a brush. And the razor is this little bad boy. This is the 1960 Gillette Flare Tip. The date code is F3. Um, quick little story about that razor, about this flare tip here. Um, I knew a gentleman by the name of Dave Stam, David Stam, and he served in World War II fighting the Nazis. I can't remember it, which theaters of action he was in, but they had him all over the place. Um, he was a hell of a man, and I respected him a lot. And even though his granddaughter and I did not work out, um, I always respected the man. I'm still somewhat friends with a couple of members of the family, um, not as close as I would like to be in some cases, but that's neither here nor there. But the man, he was an absolutely incredible man. Um, had one lung. Uh, but he always had a smile, always shook my hand, always welcomed me, and even at my lowest points when I was screwing up major, um, he never judged me. Uh, he always accepted me for who I was, and he respected me, and I respected him. Anyways, the blade in the razor today is going to be a brand new Astra 
um, Superior Platinum or Astra Green. Um, great blade, one of my favorites. Um, so, anyhow, let's go ahead and let's get this show on the road. So I'll get my brush here, get it wet in the water. Um, that vintage versus modern video, I'll be doing the second half here next video. I'll do the second half of that and then I'll go ahead and uh, do my shaved in tour in the video following that. Um, hopefully the next video I'll have a couple of things. I made my big order. I made a, about a $65 order early Father's Day gifts um, from Phoenix and Razors Direct just in case you're not familiar with them. Uh, they got some really good deals. Some of their deals, eh, not bad, but you know, uh, the nice thing about Razors Direct is free shipping. Uh, sometimes they take a little bit long as far as getting your products to you, but I mean, free shipping is always good, especially if you're, you know, tight budget. Um, I ordered from them a few times and I always got decent decent service other than the, the lag time. Um, they sell some good stuff. You can get the Feather Professional AC Blades, like 14 bucks for 20. Um, their blades, they got pretty decent blades in there. Oh yeah, that's a good load right there. Um, you know, razors. Oh wow, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and I'll be right back. All right, some of the suds kind of float out onto the outside of the case shave works um, container. So I just wiped it off and rubbed it into my face. Oh, get a little bit of water off my fingertip. Dang it, pardon me. There we go. Yeah, I, uh, when I first got my sample of Case Shave Works, because uh, I'd never tried any of their soaps before. In fact, I'd never dealt with a sample before. Um, yeah, it this the smell, the, the scent from this, I would put it in the tub. Um, definitely above medium. Um, definitely above medium. Uh, but it seems like as you're lathering it, the smell, the smell, the the scent just kind of explodes. Um, it's really cool about that. I love that about this soap. Um, they're three six six. I was um, unfortunately I couldn't get a full tub of it. Um, I would have loved to have gotten a full tub of that, um, but I was here in the bathroom using it, the sample, and my girlfriend, she was out in the living room. We don't have a huge house. We have a, a two bedroom, one bath apartment, and uh, but she was like, I can smell that out all the way out here. And uh but like I was saying Hang on, let me raise my hand. I wasn't real impressed with the performance of it, of the K Shade Works when I when I first used it um, when it was a sample. But then I saw this video with Douglas Smythe, and uh, 
he was saying that when you do samples, you know, take take a container that, you know, coffee mug or something, something that you can really get swirling in. Let me get some meat in this blade. And, uh, you know, take part of your sample or the whole sample, however much you want, and just smear it into the bottom, you know, smear it around the bottom of the container. And I had a Castle Four soap container, or cream container, an empty one. And I uh, did that with that, and oh man, the, it was a hell of a difference between the hump day sample and the 366 sample when I did that, so. Because I was like, you know, oh yeah, um, the blade is cutting very nice. And, uh, just, I really like these. Astro Greens. I haven't had a chance to try the other ones. It's Astro Stainless. Um, maybe I'll order them one of these times. Oh, yeah. Um, if you ever do decide to check out Razors Direct, if you never have, um, it's funny, the Astros for a sleeve of Astros to Razors Direct is like 21 and some change. And I always thought that that was a little high, which it is. But uh, I was looking at, you know, like I said, the Feather Pro are 15, 15 bucks for 20. When you get the stash and the chin, everywhere else they're like 17, 18, I think. Um, and everywhere I looked, Gillette Silver Blues were. I want to say 31 or 32 asleep. And there's your strap, man. They got a sleeve. You can get a sleeve of silver blues, Gillette silver blues, for 20 freaking bucks. No, no, no shipping and handling. And they got another deal. Um, 100 silver blues, 100 Astra SPs, and 100 Derby. Derby extras for like 35 bucks, somewhere around there. So, you know, um, I like going there. You know, it's a place that I kind of check out for blades. I kind of shop around and, you know, if some of the blade deals on the blades aren't as good as they are other places, uh, like, I don't know, I've never seen the Schick Injector Blades, the actual Schick Injector Blades, anywhere but Razor's Direct, and for like seven of them, it's like seven forty nine or something. But anyways, that was the first pass, and oh yeah, nice, nice, took down, that took down like, Wednesday night to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday, Saturday, just four days of growth, like pff, nothing. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off, and I'll be back. <clears throat> I'll be back. Anyways, here I am back for pass two, and so let's go ahead. Oh, what the heck, it was hanging off the edge of the tub. Anyways, where's my brush? There's my brush. 
yeah, the thing I like about this Plasoft, um, I can load it and I have easily enough soap for three passes. Um, and I mean, don't get, don't, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I don't, I kind of like my boars. I like my boars. Um, they're neat. They're, they're inexpensive and they can be decent. Um, once you start breaking them in, um, and I love my badgers. Um, granted, I only have like two boars and two badgers, but I mean, I have fun with them. Uh, but the badgers, they can be a little temperamental. Man, here I am lathering up like it's my first freaking pass. That's all right, though. It's only soap. It's only soap. Um, the Doherty's will make more. I don't doubt that. Cause, I mean, if you're new to this hobby, and you're going through the myriad of artisans and there is a lot to choose from um, and you want to spend your money wisely and get something that's really really good um, you know don't 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 get caught up in the hype um, I never was able to get caught up in the hype, you know, when I say hype, I mean, you know, this, this soap or this cream is the best in the world, you know, and yeah, it might be the best in the world as far as the quality of the ingredients go, but I mean, I get just as nice a shave. Now I'm going across the grain. I get just as nice of a shave. As are from okay shave works as I do my bear stern man which I only have one of each right now um, I get just as nice of a shave from my razor rock as I do my barrister and man the experience isn't the same as far as scent quality and scent strength I should say this go up on my neck with the across and against the growth path, so. But, uh, you know, I get, I get a pretty excellent shave from both. Um, do I get a better shave from my Razor Rock than I do my Vanderhagen? Yeah, 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 yeah I do. Um, As far as quality, uh, yeah, I do. Um, I mean, Vanderhagen's okay, but it's not Razor Rock and it's not Bear Sherman and or KC Works. Do I get just as good of an experience from my Darby Extra Lavender Shaving Cream as I did, I went up against the ground. Damn it!
don't mind me. Um, so only video six, I think. Video six or seven, folks. So, but uh, do I get just as good of a shave for my Derby Extra as I do say? The Castle Forbes Lavender I had? No. Um, Castle Forbes Lavender beats the Derby Extra Lavender, hands down. Um, but it's not bad. Alright, that is pass two. Now, before I go ahead and rinse for pass three, let me reach up and check. Anyways, I've been trying to get some of you um, to say I'm in on this little fella. This is an Art of Shaving Pure Badger Brush. Not sure of the diameter. If you wet it, it's still going to smell slightly like a damp animal my friend paid 60 bucks for it he didn't like it so he sent it on to me why me to get rid of it all you need to do is be a subscriber comment I'm in on this video or any of the following videos or any of the videos I talk about it. I'm gonna give it till Friday. Come Friday, if nobody wants it, if nobody comments I'm in, then I'll just go on a razor and brush. I actually probably shave the man. I'll go to shave the man because that's where I got so much love when I introduced myself. And I'm gonna do a search and I'm just going to give it, hit up people that's new to this hobby. And I'm just going to piff it to them. The only requirement I have other than be a subscriber and say I'm in or give me or I would love that brush. Anything. Just make it clear you want the brush. Um... Come Friday, I'll say 5 o'clock p.m. out here in California. I live here in California, so come 5 o'clock my time, I will go ahead and I will say no more. And I will draw a winner. If nobody wants it, then I'll find a newbie on Shave the Man that lives here in the States and I'll send it to him. Conus only, please. Um, hey, if you guys don't want it, I understand. I'm not a pure, big pure badger fan myself. Um, so I can understand why maybe some of you don't want it. But, you know, that's, that's what it is. So be a subscriber. Say, I'm in. Conus only, please. If not, come Friday, 5 o'clock. Over that weekend, I will go ahead and look for a newbie. And I will give it to them. See if any newbies want it. Anyhow, so that's that. I got that out of the way. Christian, I want to thank you for sending me the brush and giving everybody here an opportunity. And if, you know, nobody on this channel gets it, then I'll go ahead and I'll make sure someone does, dude. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead, rinse off, and I'll be back for past three. Okay, everybody, I'm back for past three. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot. Um, one thing I am also going to do, which I mentioned once, is the Persona unbranded blades that I got early on in this. Um, I got one full pack of five left. I had to slide one blade at a pack of four, and uh, I ended up slipping one, I had a pack of four, and I had a pack with one. 
So I took the one blade that I had left in the one pack and I slid it in with the other four. Ended up <laughs> getting it tang like jammed in there. So I had to kind of disassemble the little little dispenser and uh, put them all in there and snapped it back together. But it's a full pack of five and I love the blades. I don't know if I can get any more of those, but hey, there's lots of really good blades out there. So, um, yeah. So whoever, whoever gets it, will get, whoever gets the, the, the brush, will also get those blades. Yeah, the one thing that kind of bums me out about the super speed, and uh, I don't see a lot of the super speeds, at least the three super speeds I have don't do it. I have a W1, which is a 51, and I have an M3, which is a 67. Third quarter, the W1's a 51, first quarter. Super speeds, uh, those are, you know, a couple of my first, they were actually my first true, you know, my first Gillette's vintage Gillette's. Um, hell, they were my first vintage, period. Um, my girlfriend, uh, ex-roommate of hers, she was given a Ziploc bag by a friend of hers with uh, four razors. Um, at the time, all I had was a 34C, my Mercury 34C which I still have and I love. And my Micro Touch 1, uh, which was my very first double-edged safety razor. And, uh, you know, it's one that got me started. Anyhow, um, and uh, she gave me those two, two super speeds. And, I mean, I, I cleaned the crap out of them. Um, Oh, I got a sneak peek for y'all. Real quick, real quick. I'll show you my little sneak peek when I get done doing this cheek, this pass. But uh, they were my very first two super speeds. And uh, they were a little bit scummy from soap, soap scum deposits, you know, and stuff. But uh, they just, I mean, they cleaned up really, really nice. 51, you can see where, you know, it's been held um, by someone in the past that that must have been their normal grip spot. Kind of wore it onto the plating. Which is cool and all. It, it gives a personality. Um, but, you know, over time I got them, you know, I cleaned them up and got them nice. Got them looking good. They've served me quite well. All right, against the grain, on the lip, we're good. Hmm. Lip was good. I didn't, even know, I didn't even hit it with soap, but. There's enough residual slickness there. Um, yeah, I've mentioned them before. Um, second kind of cool. Um, I watched a really cool video that he did. Called What, what Shaving Means to Him. And come to find out he's a firefighter. They're in, you know, New York, state of New York. 
and uh, it was it was cool. It was a heartfelt heartfelt video, and you know he uh, he talks about how he's made some really good friends in this in this. Um, I'm not as active in the, on the pages as some some of you guys are, and uh, you know, um, but you know, there's some of you guys that you know <laughs> um, that are just guys that is giving me lots of encouragement and stuff over time, and I mean, just some good advice, and I mean, when I first introduced myself on Shave the Man, I mean, I had three guys. Three guys send me, um, two of them sent me, you know, Rick French sent me a uh, Castle Forbes Lavender Shaving Cream, mostly full, with Pulse Silver Super Iridium Blades, um, and some, some Persona Med Preps, and another guy sent me a, um, I can't remember his name, oh man, sent me a, you know, 50% full Barrister and Manalatha with a bunch of Astra SPs and some Persona Reds and Dustin Moon sent me a full untouched tub of Katie's Bubbles. Eight ounce tub. Didn't send blades, but he sent me the soap. And I mean, you know, you guys are just, in this community, it's just, you guys are awesome. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off, clean up, and I'll be back for the as Paul H. likes to put them. Paul H. and uh, Kevy Shade likes to put. Oh, hang on, this little spot. Put them. You know. Uh, you know uh, put some pickups. Anyways, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alright. Um, A little bit right there. I'll do a final rinse. I'll just do a quick rinse. Anyways, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I was in pretty much all my videos uh, going ahead and I'd finish up the face shave and hit my, you know. And do my do my post shave, and then I'd shut the video down. I'd do my head shave, and I'd have to do post shave on that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead because I finally have got my Windows Movie Maker Live figured out enough to you know take out take out you know um, sections with the split and delete. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut away here and oops, right there again. Yeah, it's a trouble spot for me right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut away and I'm going to do my noggin and then I'll be back uh, all Mr. Clean like. You know, um, for those of you who, you know, uh, shave shave your face with a DE or SE and shave your head with something different, you know, I'm going to shave my head with this flare tip and show you how well, um, you know, after some time, how, how you can do or how close you can get with a DE. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'll be back in a few. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. All right, so we're back. As you can see, the dome is nice and smooth. Um, my trouble spots when I do my dome is right here at the top of the ears. Um, And that's about it. Uh, once in a while, I'll miss a little spot here and there, but that's why I keep. And please do not send me. Uh, 
hate letters or mail bombs or anything like that. Uh, but uh, I keep, you know, I use, I keep disposables to where if I miss a little spot, you know, from like 20 minutes after I get done, ah, oh, damn, I missed. I can come in, wet it, and do it real quick. Um, but, you know, I haven't had to do that in a while because I'm getting better, you know. I've been, you know, it took me a while to learn the whole thing, but once in a while I still miss a spot, but not that often. Oh, yeah, real quick, the sneak peek. Sneak peek at the shaved end. This is my, one of my favorite vintage razors. It's number three. Um, the 1965 Schick black handled double edge Corona razor. Um, I got this up in Northern California at a place called the Antique Trove outside of Roseville, which is up above Sacramento. Um, 20 bucks came with the case um, and the little paper that sat there and you know basically told you how to load the blade had a chic double edge blade in it that was brand new um, all I had to do was just mineral oil, mineral oil the hell out of it it was clean it had you know looked like it never been used but I scrubbed it down with antibacterial soap and let it soak in some you know some rubbing alcohol for a little bit before I used it and dropped the blade and let the blade soak for like 20 minutes in the rubbing alcohol and uh, I got a really nice shave I got like four or five shaves off that blade um, so the Schick double-edged blades they're still making them like they did then which by the way you can get those by the sleeve at Razors Direct as well um, but you know, I ended up going ahead and getting like four or five shaves off of it. And it's just such a smooth blade. Eventually, I want to get a sleeve of them and add them into my, into my, uh, my blade box. But anyways, so yeah, it was a sneak peek. Um, you'll see it again in the shave den when I do that one. Anyways, so enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Like always, Razor Rock Alum on the face. Nope, gotta get my face wet or damp. Um, I use this. Oh, not a lot. Not a lot of stinging. Um, I think I get more stinging out of my fat boy on nine um, when I when I do that. Definitely get more feedback when I use my gem Micromatic open comb. Um, but hey, you know it's all part of the experience, right? But uh. Anyways, like that said, um, in case you're wondering, no, I don't use alum on my head. I did once before, or a couple of times before, but not anymore. Um, I have used it. I've nicked myself before I got a styptic pencil and like stuck, held the alum to my noggin. Um, hang on. So, uh, oh yeah, and a shout out to a new subscriber. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this, but if I pick up subscribers here and there that I can see who they are, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll announce them. Because um, I think it would be, you know, I just think it's kind of a cool thing to do. Uh, but his, he's another YouTube channel, um, and his channel's called Wisconsin 
Piper. Uh, I haven't smoked anything in what, since 2009. Um, I didn't really get into pipes. I always thought they were cool, but you know, uh, you know, pipes is a hobby, just like wet shaving, vaping, cigars, stuff like that. But anyways, um, thanks for the support, dude. Anyhow, so with that out of the way. In comes the good old Dollar General Witch Hazel. Oh, by the way, if you guys like what I do here, go ahead, like, comment. If you are watching this video for the first time, um, or any, you know, if you're watching this video for the first time, if this is the first video on my channel you've ever seen and you've just kind of come across it, uh, you know, hey, if you like what I what you see here, you know, if you like seeing a blind man run the risk of cutting an air offer, an ear offer, you know, slashing himself with the double edge or single edge razor or whenever he shaves, then go ahead and click subscribe, man, or miss, um, depending, because there are ladies that do this as well. Um, anyways, that's Dollar General Witch Hazel. Um, and yeah, if you have anything you ever want, if you ever have any comments, feel free if you ever want to. Oh, today. Oh, can't do that. Not yet. The aftershave is, this is the generic version of Brute Green. Um, sorry to reach for you. Just want to make sure I'm still on camera. Um, this generic brute green. Um, the scent isn't quite as strong as the brute green, but this one um, feels really good. Um, oh yeah, burn, burn, burn. It's got that burn. Um, I think maybe it's got a little bit of menthol or something in it that kind of cools. Uh, it's got a little hole up top. Um, yeah, if there's anything you guys ever want to see me do, if I can, you know, whether it's just doing a straight head shape, whatever, then let me know in the comments or you can always email me. Um, for any reason at just lance all or case just lance 59 at gmail.com um, especially questions about blindness or um, if you know somebody that's wanting to get a guide dog or a service dog for the blind or you know just service dog questions uh, blindness questions if you're dealing with somebody who's coming you know has diabetes and going blind or somebody or if you have a blind child or if you know somebody with a blind child um, I'm always happy to answer any questions I don't think those types of subjects is off limits uh, at least for me they're not because those are the kind of subject things I deal with daily um, oh, good news! My three-year-old son, we finally got him potty trained. And, oh yeah, Nivea for sensitive skin cooling balm. I've been looking for that Nivea Too Faced that Kevy Shaves talked about and uses, has been using in some of his videos. And, uh... You know, I can't find it. I don't know if they sell it here in the States or not. And if they do, I don't know where. So if anybody out there knows where I can get Nivea Too Faced, um, let me know. Let me know. Um, I don't really want to try that stuff. It seems like a good thing. And and no, I'm not putting a whole bunch of it. Maybe I just put a couple of drops at a time in my hand. Because... If I don't do it that way, I will overdo it and I will just, I mean, I will put way too much 
on my face. So anyways, yeah, but um, yeah, my son, you know, he's gone. This is the eighth or ninth day he's gone without pooping or peeing in anything other than the toilet. And I mean, he don't even wake up in the morning wet. So me and his mom are just really, really super stoked about that. We're so proud of him and you know, we worked so hard. I mean, he's got, I'm a stubborn man and his mom's a stubborn woman sometimes. And my grandma, my mom, she's stubborn. My girlfriend's mom was stubborn. Uh, so stubbornness runs in the family. So my dad's a stubborn man. Her dad's a little bit of a stubborn man. So, yeah. But he's finally doing it. We are just couldn't be happier. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. That's the shave. Um, like I said, if you ever have any questions, just Lance at, or just Lance59 at gmail.com. Um, any questions, just email me. If you want the brush, just post, I'm in. Be a subscriber. Um, Conus only, please. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bell icon. And whenever I release something new, I'll go ahead and you know, you'll get notified. And, um, you know, if you can, password, let your friends know, hey, there's this blind dude shaving. Um, I'd appreciate the support. Anyways, uh, the drawing for that brush, I will be closing it off Friday at 5 p.m. my time. And I will draw a winner. Or go to shave the man and just give it to a newbie, depending on if I get anybody that says I'm in or I want it or give me whatever. Anyhow, I hope you all have a happy Memorial Day. Um, spend time with with family members and for those of you who have lost a loved one a loved one um, on the battlefield my heart goes out to you but you know they they died what they loved doing what they loved which was defending this nation anyways um, y'all have some great shaves have a great day, and I'll see y'all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.